from England. Well, I was living in Toronto for about a year uh, and I recently just got my visa to move over here. So. I, I was the only person in my family who would do music. Like when I was like seven, I used to rap and like make beats on my keyboard. And then when I was a teenager, I was like doing like death metal vocals <laughs> and like in bands different. and stuff. So when I was a teenager, I was really big into Nirvana. Musically, I guess like Skrillex is my biggest influence. He is king. So I, when I first started producing, I was making like drum and bass. I, I wanted to be like Rob Swire. I was making the worst beats you ever heard. But I, I, and then like that dubstep was getting big in England. So I was like really down to start making that. And then in the middle of uni, I was, I was like drinking throughout uni quite a lot. I was like partying. And then I heard this Scary Monsters and Nice Sprite EP. And I was like, holy fuck, this is the shit. And then I just stayed in my room for like two, three years. <laughs> like trying to get good at, good at what he was doing. And then, and I, and I just started making some weird sounds and came out. I've been getting pretty hammered a lot, and I can't remember a lot of the toy if I'm pretty if I'm honest. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we've had some crazy times. My new tunes have really been killing. Been like dropping it at like the end of my sets, so like because it's like a very slow and heavy and lazy Make sort of sound. As long as the crowd is like jumping and shit, then and, and having a good time, that's all I want, you know. I want to do some crazy shit while I can, so we're gonna be buying some stupid stuff. I think I think I'm gonna dye my hair. Honey. Oh.